Thank you for watching today's ministration. Stay connected and be blessed. Always remember that God has you in mind and you are next in line. Please subscribe. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith, believe it, and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to. The gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. 
When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear, then you come. Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man? that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. 
Hear me? Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you i pray for every man and every woman of god here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may god give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year i'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders you face speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the holy ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus for anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion the creative and prophetic power doors of delay I command you be opened in the name of us delay be gone delay be gone delay delay in marriage delay in jobs I cause it to his root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage, every academic bondage, Kateka Leko Sopa, Repete Lato Sabadi Adaka. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. 
sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold, sevenfold, not one fold, not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands. Oh. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. A new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. AS, we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight, it is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus In the name of Jesus. I 
I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives. Between today and the next 21 days. You will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, Three. my God do it I see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of Jesus take it take it Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. 
evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Are we together? It's a very serious prayer we're going to pray now. You're going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to go. Listen. As you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit I cast every devil I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. Mata kota shamalata. Shabras katawa reketo shayala matata. In the name of Jesus, there's no place for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances.
Lord is healing fibroid. I'm seeing the Lord healing now. The Lord is healing fibroid. The Lord is healing fibroid in the name of Jesus. I command that devil. The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can tear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this oppression. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished is a strong spirit of delay i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the lord let god's people go now one two three i command that spirit go now go now Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. There is anyone you know whether you are here or anyone you know that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every barren womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. 
and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus shakatos emprantas kanasone hashamariakata shakras kotevakatosa varekata eko shamama shanadakata rekete kete kete eskamara katos kaba zatia 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 shekele kosha prakatos karikata in the name that is above all names i decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. on please the Lord is showing me something I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear and the Lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life I'm not saying you waste it you can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen where well, this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now. 
let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I command that death to pass over your family I command that death to pass over your family Hallelujah Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay it's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for a very demonic thing I'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are I don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now. Ah, hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming. Physically, physical, like you are seeing me like this, appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit 
every pattern of reoccurring infirmity, reoccurring sickness, shanakatabala katos. Whether it's a blood related disease, natos kadashana katos. Every pattern, I say it again, of reoccurring sickness, reoccurring disease. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the spirit responsible, lose your hold now. 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 Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I, my God, I'm seeing a sword. Right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven in the name of I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible says he nailed it to the cross i declare and i decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the father i cause every power that is not of god in the name of jesus christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them, please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you, there are many of us who have lost things some you have lost time Mashamakata, Lekotos Kabata. Joshua said son go back move go back I prophesy to you 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou received it and thou shalt have it. Listen. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said, please don't take casual this opportunity. We're operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare, receive by faith in the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive bl blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus, receive ease. That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray Open your mouth and make decrees. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter onto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I grow from glory to glory. I grow from power to power. I grow from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it bless your children bless your wife bless your husband bless your home bless your finances bless your spiritual life we 
declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. No failure with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalabaruza siaka paruza zik ende prato salagada brada gada bush shkabarato sabrande ge parusia tabaladaba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev Shalabarato Zagabarato Zedekas and Tekele Barato Sabaroto Zubahasa and Delegrando Sadabaru Sefias Krabaga Baruda Sige Baru Dizias and Glato Saprada Baratu Ziatash in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and Lord we bring them under judgment in the name of Jesus and Lord I stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever my Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us he says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration <laughs> hallelujah now i pray for you listen 
every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply 
it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a cara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. You see, I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this. You know that I love you. You are my people. I'm committed to your growth. Please listen to me. <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over. That it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerate thank you for watching this channel
Please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do that now. And also turn on your post notification bell to get a regular prayers that will build your faith. A regular prayers that will make you strong. What are those challenges? What are those battles? Those hidden battles you've been fighting that look so difficult for you? Log on to this and hold on to Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. And make sure your faith is strong and healthy. Thank you.